I hate to say it, but how do the sponges in your kitchen smell? Probably nasty. At the end of the day, it's because they're holding on to mold and bacteria. These are genius sponges for a reason, because they will last longer than the sponges that you're using, and they will actually inhibit mold and bacteria. So you're not spreading around those awful, awful things all over your kitchens and your sinks. They're brought to us by Debbie Meyer. She is an innovator, she's an entrepreneur, and these are the only airing you will get for a dozen of her genius sponges. Genius, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm, I don't want to be the genius. I want you to be the genius in your own home. Mm -hmm. I'm all about the science of things. I am actually going to show you that my sponges are scientifically independent, tested to give you the results that I'm talking about. But come with me for a second because I want to ask you a question. Does this look familiar? Okay. You know what? In your home, your sink, your kitchen sink is the dirtiest place in your entire home. The second dirtiest, according to all the health boards that make reports, is your kitchen sponge. That is the grossest thing in the world. Well, let's change that with my Debbie Meyer Genius Sponge. I want you to look at a little piece of animation that was prepared by the independent testing lab. Mm -hmm. And there, I'm going to tell you about it. Now, look at that sponge. That's what you probably have living right next to your sink uh. right now. That is a depiction of the bacteria and the molds that are growing on your sponge. They're not just sitting there. They're growing. When you use my sponge, the difference is that my sponge will not let the growth of any of those things happen. You see a little poof, poof? That is actually the mold and bacteria dying on the sponge because there's no way for it to take hold. There's no way for it to live and proliferate on your sponge. You know, and so, to me with babies at home, it translates oh, to like runny noses please. and awful experiences and terrible smells. This, this is a thing. better replacement. And it also holds 40% more water, right? So even just in using it, it's an well, easier experience. Let me give you the let me give you the really nasty news. This kind of sponge, as opposed to my sponge, is holding on to bacteria and molds. My sponge will not permit the growth of staph. MRSA, which is a real scary one, E. coli, salmonella, black mold, and many, many others. But here's another thing for you economically. That's the set of 12 that you'll be purchasing for me. Mm -hmm. That's 12. Let me show you what you won't have to buy if you buy those 12 sponges. <laughs> That's 180 regular cellulose sponges. Each one of my sponges lasts 15 times longer than an individual of these sponges. And, if you're, and that's just the cost of sponges. And if you're like me, the second it starts to smell, I don't microwave it, I oh. throw it away. So for well, me, this would be twice the size. Well, you know what? Microwaving, I always say, I want food in my microwave. Why yeah. would I put some disgusting thing in there? That's, you know, and I don't want extra work. You okay, know, so you know me. So I don't the, want the value is there. The Here. story is there. It works. I just want to remind everybody about one thing really quickly. Only scheduled airing because we have limited quantities and two flexible payments only for the hour. So today, a dozen sponges that will replace 180 sponges for under $10 on flexible payments. This is the time to shop for it. It's the only time you will see it here. And it really, it's extraordinary when you can get the set of 12 on flexible Flex pay. We never and do flex pay for items no. under twenty dollars. So and today's the day. And that's just the economics, not having to buy 180 sponges mm -hmm. instead of the 12 of mine. But here's here's the reality: when you are cleaning with a sponge that's holding onto bacteria and molds, mm. you're actually what am I doing? Just spreading it around. And okay, so we have kids, you know, and we're cleaning the binkies and we're cleaning these things and we're cleaning our dishes. Oh wait a minute, the baby just ate. Let's clean up the babies. See? Okay, I see you grimacing already. Okay. <laughs> We don't throw that away, okay? Let's go to my sponge. Because my sponge will not permit the growth of bacteria and molds in or on the sponge for the life of the sponge. You use this until it is shredded. It's as simple as that. You will use less soap because it actually foams up mm. incredibly. It will always stay soft. You will not have this crispy critter. This is a soft, nicely, I even shaped it because I, I like to hold on to my sponge. And I'm a sponge girl. I use my sponge in the bathroom. I use it everywhere that I would be cleaning because I know it's not going to allow the growth of things. So now when I'm cleaning this, if I should pick up any mold or bacteria that might have been present, mm -hmm. would I go to use this sponge again? It's like a new sponge. Every morning, when I rinse it out at night after I've done my dishes, I've cleaned up after my grandchildren, whatever I'm doing, I put this next to my sink, and now I've got a new sponge in the morning because everything is clean again. Well, and when we talk and I don't about have to do anything, I don't have to. I, I don't want to bleach things because mm -hmm. I'm adding bleach. No, I don't want more bleach in my life. I don't have to microwave because I don't want to put that disgusting thing in my microwave. <laughs> this is easy. You know I'm about the easy, and you also know I'm about the science. This is independent, lab-tested, and proven that this is what's going to happen. You know, Nothing's going to mold. And we're right on the, on the brink of spring cleaning, right? And if you're going <laughs> to clean with this, you're not cleaning. 
you're really just messing more and more you, and more and more, moving it all it. around. And then look at this. I mean, to be able to replace this, I mean, dollar for dollar, yes. even if they were just, even if they didn't deliver inhibiting mold and bacteria, you're still that getting won't. a better value. That's just the economics. Yeah. But then on top of it, you're getting the science. Mm -hmm. I love science and I solve problems with science. I solve my own problems. You know, frankly, I hated the idea of having these. And I always looked at the nooks, nooks and crannies and went, that can't be clean, mm -hmm. right? So this is what happened. I've come up with this. It's because of the way it is constructed. It's because it has natural elements in it. But for the life of the sponge, think about these words, and you've heard these words before. Staph, MRSA, E. coli, salmonella, black mold, and more. Those are the things we hear about in the news making people sick. All right, I don't want to contribute to it, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'll do the best I can with what I have. This is the easiest way that you are going to clean your home. Every health report has said, everyone thinks their bathroom is the dirtiest place in, in the house. It's not. It's your kitchen sink. Why? Because you're putting in raw meats, you're rinsing off raw things, you're throwing things in the bottom of that sink, and honestly, it's crawling unless you're bleaching and doing everything to that sink. Most people don't do that. When you use an ordinary sponge to clean up, you're actually allowing things to grow in it and on it. And like you said in the beginning, smell. Oh, oh my God. I mean, when it starts to smell, I'll just replace it. And they're not cheap. Of I course. mean, when you go to the grocery store just to buy the off-brand, this, this is a lot of money right here. That's 180 sponges instead mm -hmm. of 12. And these will last you, like I said, 15 times longer. So go ahead and use it for everything. I use it in my bathroom. Bathroom, I use it in my kitchen. I use it outside, mm -hmm. actually, mm -hmm. when I'm cleaning up outdoors. Because think about what you're picking up when you're cleaning off your table, your picnic table, your glass ta top table outdoors. Mm -hmm. This is simple. I like easy. I like anything that's scientific. But look at this. My name's on there, and it says Genius Sponge. That's going to wear off. That's okay with me. <laughs> and if you don't want the name there, turn it upside down. I don't care. So here's but the thing. This is how it's going to work for you. We've got about three minutes left in this presentation. It is the only airing schedule because we literally, we don't have enough of them available right now. And they're so wildly popular. If you're loving the concept, really? pick up more than one set. You know, maybe one for your sister or if you're, you know, for your RV. Because at the end of the day, it's best price. I mean, $17.95 plus two flex. Yeah. To think of being able to get home a dozen sponges that will hold 40% more water than the other one, that will inhibit the mold and bacteria that is growing as you're watching this presentation <laughs> on that yes. sponge, yes. that will last 15 times longer than those sponges, you save money and get better delivery. At the end of the day, the product does what it's supposed to. Sponges are supposed to clean, not spread, exactly. gook, and grind. I'd like to show you the animation again because it was mm -hmm. prepared by the actual lab that did the testing. And they said, look at this sponge. That is what is happening on your ordinary sponge right now. It is gro it's not just sitting there. It's growing. It's actually proliferating. The, the mold and bacteria continues to grow. On my sponge, you do not get that because the composition of my sponge actually will not permit the growth of molds and bacteria. Those little things popping, that's the mold and bacteria just dying. It just cannot grow. It's not, it's not, um, it is part of rather the construction of the sponge. This is the easy, easy, easy way to clean without worry. If you are bleaching your sponge, you're adding bleach to your life. Right. If you're putting it in your microwave, you're putting it in where you cook food, for heaven's <laughs> sakes. I know what, are you going to clean your microwave? I was going to say, I thought, oh, I wanted please. you to say, if you're putting it in your microwave, you're putting it in your microwave. microwave exactly, <laughs> exactly. So here, let me show it to you again. This is what you get, 12 sponges. 12 sponges, which will last 15 times longer. Each one lasts 15 times longer. So what you're gonna, not going to do is buy 180 sponges. But the economics aside, mm -hmm. the scientific testing that says these are healthier, they're cleaner, they're more sanitary, and they're, to tell you the truth, easier because you don't have to do anything about keeping them clean. Well, I'm just trying to like do the math here. I mean, normally you can buy six of these for what, like $5 or something like that? It's ridiculous. So let's say they're 50 cents a piece and they're, they're not that inexpensive anywhere you go. Mm -hmm. So that'd be, that would be $90. $90, $9, $9, $9. These are gross. They smell. They have mold and bacteria, and they're smelly, and they have to be replaced and microwaved and bleached, which, by the way, bleach is not free. And, and $90. $9. I don't want to add more chlorine to my life, thank you yeah. very much. So chemicals, are, you know, let's do it as, as little as possible. So again, when you are cleaning with my sponge, every time you pick it up, it's like a new sponge mm -hmm. because nothing can grow in it, nothing can grow in it, and you use it till it shreds. 
use it until it's an absolute nub because that's how long it'll, la it'll last 15 times longer than every one of these. Mm -hmm. A pack of 12 is going to last you quite a long time. Okay, so we are going to feature our ultralight green boxes coming up next. Debbie Meyer is not going anywhere. If you own them, definitely call us during that presentation. We would love to hear from you. Sign up for the sponges right now while we have them available. We're going to go to a quick spotlight with my friend Tamara.